a uh, greeting, just a short selfie video here uh, regarding time management and keeping yourself personally organized. You know, uh, years ago I was wanted to be organized, but I didn't know how. I was constantly forgetting appointments and forgetting what I was supposed to do, and it was crazy. It was just crazy. Uh, I came across a tool. Uh, I came across a second diary. It was called a day timer. A day timer was like a, a book, and you could put the whole year in. It had a daily schedule and a task list and a note section for the entire year. It was fantastic, and uh, you could change it from year to year. And so uh, me and actually uh, uh, Pastor Damasio and all of the staff at Eugene Christian Fellowship, we bought into it and we just lived by it. It was life changing for me where as soon as I would think of something that I had to do, I would just write it down in the, the task list, the to-do list in the day timer and it was there. And then if I had uh, an appointment, could just turn to that day, write the appointment in. It was so nice. But then uh, smartphones came along and there was a smartphone called a Palm Pilot. And it was everything the day timer was, but it was digital. And uh, I had a calendar in it, I had a task list. Not only that, it had pop-up reminders that I could set and it would pop up and it would remind me of what I was supposed to be doing or who I was supposed to uh, be meeting. And of course, nowadays we have the, the cell phones of every kind, and built into every cell phone uh, is a calendar. I use Google calendars, and uh, and you can go to Google Play, and you can download a task list. There's many kinds of task lists, but I have trained myself over the years, and it's a matter of training yourself. I've trained myself over the years to look at my calendar, look at my task list, multiple times during the day. Look at it at night before I go to bed. Look at it in the morning when I get up and throughout the day because if I don't look at it, I will forget. I will forget. I will disappoint people. I will not do things that are important for me to do. I will not do things that God wants me to do because my, my feeble little brain forgot. And so I've just got into the habit. Whenever I have any kind of appointment with a person or a place, I put it in my calendar. Or an appointment with myself. I put my devotions in the calendar. I put my exercise in the calendar. And so I look and I thought, no, I, I can't have an appointment with another person at that day and hour because I have an appointment with myself that is just as important or maybe more important. And the same with the task list. I like to put the task list, what do I have to do? And uh, the one that I'm using, the app that I'm using, I can, I can put Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I can call it whatever I want. And I just, when I think about it, it's just when you think about it, you have to write it down. If you don't think about it, you'll forget it. You're smart, I realize that. But not smart enough to remember everything. And so when you think about it, it's easy. Put it in your, your task list app for your phone. You can search T-A-S-K task list app in Google Apps. You put it in and when you're finished, you can delete it. You can put timers on reminders on all of this. So they pop up. You can change the day. If you decide that you don't want to do it that day, you can just move it to another day. And it's so nice and it saves me that I feel like it helps me to be more efficient it helps me to be more effective, and it helps me to use the time that God has given to me in a better way. And so if you want to be a great leader, if you want to see God do a lot through you, now look, I realize Moses didn't have a, didn't have a cell phone, and, and Paul didn't have a cell phone, but uh, different, different season at that time. We now, we have these tools, we can use them, and they can make us more efficient, okay? And so I really recommend, learn how to train yourself to use a calendar and train yourself to use a task list. Those are two of the most important tools I can recommend to you, and you have to train yourself to do it, all right? And so, uh, bless you, and, uh, and uh, great success in whatever God's called you to do.